Hey, it's Doc from Springtail. Today, I'm going to show you the assembly of an updated product we've been working very hard on. This is the Generation 2 Springtail Jeep JK rear door folding tray slash molly panel. What you will require for assembling this today will be a seven millimeter wrench or socket, a 5-32nds Allen wrench, which we do include in the pack. However, a T-handle will make the job much easier. You'll also need a big lighter, and you may need a sharp pointed pick for drawing the paracord through the holes. That's it, it's pretty easy. Now I'll show you all the updated things that we've been working on. So the first of the updates is uh, a new clamping system we have. The clamps are fully adjustable, uh, almost infinitely adjustable, and they work very well. So it's quite simply, and the, the rack is locked down and it won't move. And then to open it up, you just undo the clamp. The second of the updates that we've uh, been working on is widening the paracord holes so it's a little bit easier to install the paracord yet maintain that good solid retention. So as you can see now, the paracord slips easily through. It's very easy to thread now and we get that retention that we like to have. The third update, and this is probably the most important because we've listened to you guys. Your Jeeps are getting older and you're not so reluctant to drill into your tailgate. Um, but you know, one should be aware that uh, within the JK tailgate, there's a number of angled supports. And if you hit those with a drill bit, it's gonna ruin your day. So what we have here is you see the slotted uh, holes. Those are for the no drill mounts. That, that line up with the factory holes. The r small round holes that we have here are the holes that we've mapped to be safe areas to drill and mount, uh, do a hard mount to your Jeep tailgate. You should be able to very safely put in a sheet metal screw um, and or rev nuts uh, so you can take this rack on and off or just securely, permanently affix it to your tailgate. All right, let's jump into the assembly of the rear door rack. So the first thing you want is you want the backing panel to be laying flat on its back. You wanna take the grid and place it over, lining up the hinge, hinge points at the bottom. There's two shoulder bolts in your pack. You're going to put the little nylon washer over the top, and then you're going to fit the shoulder bolt to the hole, okay? Being careful not to have the nylon washer get in the way. So it takes a little bit of work to get the shoulder bolt uh, actually to slide into the hole because we, we use very tight tolerances and you, um, you, don't want it to, you don't want it to rattle. So you gotta kind of work through the paracord a little bit. And I've had this together and apart a few times so it's pretty easy at this point. Uh, so it just pops in, but you might have to work a little bit harder at getting that. Whatever you do, don't drill, don't modify it. Just wiggle it enough and it'll work through that powder coat and it'll pop in. And then tighten both sides so you have a hinge that opens and closes just like that. Okay, now we're going to install the clamps. So you take the clamp, place the bolts through the holes and Move to this side, because obviously that's where the clamp goes. And then we've got our small pieces of hardware here. We do include some extra nuts and washers, just in case some of these pieces get away from you. So if you have extra hardware after the assembly, don't, don't worry. You didn't miss anything, probably. So then we just put those on there. And we take our socket. And tighten them up. You go ahead and turn off. This is how it looks from the other side. So we put the nuts or put the bolts through. And we're going to line them up.
that's all there is to it. Okay, so now we're going to adjust the clamps. You should note that the red part of the clamp should be angled out. It should not be angled towards, towards the rack, otherwise you put it in upside down. So essentially, you, uh, you'll just screw this down to you get, until you get to the point where it engages the tab. And we're not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. Yeah, a little too far. And one or two fingers should put that down. If you want that to maintain its place, we do include a little five millimeter nut that you can tighten that up and lock it in place. And then we just repeat uh, on the other side till we do our adjustments till we get the perfect fit. And you just wanna do it incrementally until you get exactly where you want and it should just be a simple pop down and back up. You don't wanna bend that tab because that would be just dumb. And then you put your lock nut in place and you're all set. Okay, at this point, we've got our clamps adjusted and we're going to open the tray up and we're going to set up the paracord. So just like that. And first thing you wanna do is you wanna tie a knot on the bottom. So that's gonna go like that. And you gotta go through the bottom like this. that, like that, like that, so you get the widest point ever. And then we've got our shrink wrap here that we're going to thread through, okay? And you wanna have the table kind of at a 90 degree angle. And at this point, so you're gonna bring the table or bring the string to the inside part here. And then make it just a little bit more snug than you think it'd be because that cord's going to stretch a bit. And you can always adjust this better later. And you notice that, you know, we're lucky. We don't, the paracord's sliding right through and we don't need that, uh, we don't need that pick to pick it through. And then bring that through the, the shrink wrap. And then tie your knot, just like that. And then we repeat with the other side. Again, tie your little simple slip knot. The slip knot's gonna go all the way to the inside and we're gonna thread it through, just like that. And then we get our piece of shrink wrap, put that on. You don't want to forget this. And then we're going to do the top side. And again, you just want it a little bit tighter than you think it needs to be. That'll save you a little bit of adjustment. And through. Bring our shrink wrap up, stick that through, and then we're going to tie our knot. All right, now we need to shrink the shrink wrap. Okay, now you wanna be really careful here because the shrink wrap will shrink, but if you heat up the paracord too much, it's nylon and you'll melt it. So you wanna be real cautious, you just kinda of work carefully around that shrink wrap with your lighter. And you want to get it snug, but not too tight. Just like that. So it still slides, it stays in place. And then repeat on the other side.
At the end of the assembly process, your rack should look exactly like this. It should fold up easily and securely. The clamps should clamp easily and securely, holding the tray in the upright position. At this point, we'll have you reference two other videos. One video listed in the link below will show you how to do the non-drill option. The other link is one of our customers who did the drill option and installed rib nuts, and that link will also be below. Thank you very much for buying Springtail products. We appreciate your business. Thank you.